Helder Costa, signed initially on loan for the season from Benfica, has had such a profound effect at Molyneux that the signing was made permanent back in January and for a significant sum of money. And yet Costa has made a significant impact on Wolves' otherwise tough season. His eight assists leads the club's charts. In fact, only five men are recorded more in the entire championship and all of them are playing for top half clubs. He also trails the club's scoring charts by just one and one shy of breaking the double-digit barrier in his first season in English football. Wolves enter the weekend having won three matches on the bounce, their longest such spell of the season, and they now have a five-point gap over the relegation zone. These recent wins over Rotherham, Brentford and Fulham prior to the international break actually arrived at a surprising moment themselves, with Paul Lambert's men then seven matches without a win and having been dragged back into a serious relegation fight as a result. Welsh international David Edwards is in the midst of a career best goal scoring season at the moment, where his 10 goals gives him the clubhouse lead at Molyneux. It also represents the first time he's netted double digit goals in a season for his career. His previous single season best was achieved back in 13 14's League One promotion campaign. And yet, the past four seasons have seen a noticeable progression in Edwards' attacking game. He's now netted 32 times in that spell, representing over 50% of his goals tarry for his career, a career that's now in his 13th season as a first-team regular. Carl Akimi is once more the man in goals for Wolves, having suffered a rash of pre-Christmas injuries in the department, which saw teenager Harry Burgoyne deployed for a run of games, including the reverse fixture at Cardiff City Stadium. Defensively, Paul Lambert's men have conceded a middle-of-the-pack 48 times from their 37 matches, adding nine clean sheets in the process. Both these totals are a shade better than ourselves. Yet, closer inspection reveals that it's actually at Molyneux where Wolves have struggled this season. Away from home, their 22 goals conceded from just 20 games represents the third-best goals against average in the division albeit quite the way shy of leaders Newcastle in this regard, who have conceded just 12. City won December's reverse fixture by two goals to one at Cardiff City Stadium, with Matthew Connolly and Anthony Pilkington striking, the latter late on, to overturn Matt Doherty's long-range opener. Craig Noon lit up last season's away game with two wonderful goals in an all-around stellar performance, which helped the Boobirds to a 3-1 victory. In fact, Cardiff have actually won five of their last seven encounters between the two clubs, and have lost just once in their last three visits to Molyneux. If Paul Lambert continues with a 4-2-3-1 formation which has suited Wolves well in their recent resurgence pre-international break, then he could be set for a three-way decision as to who operates in the central striking role. In late February, Noah Deco netted his first of the season and his first since returning from a serious knee injury which cost him most of last season and that should be a burden off his shoulders. Icelandic international John Dardy Bodvarsson has been limited to sub-appearances of late and has now not netted since August, yet perhaps offers the more natural fit as the central striker. Whilst former Aston Villa man Andreas Weiman is the more in form of the trio, having netted in both the recent wins over Rotherham and Fulham, yet he could just as easily be deployed in a wider attacking role in conjunction with either of the former options. (laughs) 